I'm going to quickly show you how to replicate a uh, shape in Blender using animation as a way of specifying where and how many to make. So for example, right here, I've got a cylinder that I'm going to turn into a colonnade. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, is I'm going to animate the cylinder moving from where I want it to start to where I want it to end. So I'm going to move it all the way over to the left here at frame one and I'm going to insert a location keyframe right here. I'm then going to move my cylinder over to where I want it to end, which you'll notice is one, two, three, four, five, six grid squares over. I want to have a cylinder on each, um, each of those vertical grid lines. So in fact, that's seven total cylinders, so I'm going to do this at keyframe seven. So I've moved to keyframe seven on my timeline, and I'm going to slide this over to its location again. I'm going to insert a location keyframe here. And if we were to actually now play this animation, we would see the cylinder bum 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 slide across. That's not very exciting. But if I go down to my button panel and go into the object panel, in animation settings, I can turn on something called dupla frames. And all of a sudden now I've got all seven of my cylinders showing right here. This is great, right? But they're not really very evenly spaced. And this is because of what's going on over here in the IPO curve editor. And what we're seeing right here is a uh, is that it has animated this as a curve. That is, we're, we're the, the, the cylinder as it moves across the screen starts to speed up and then slows down as it gets close to its location. It's actually created a curve to track between these two keyframes, the one on the left at the start and the one the, on the right at the end. In fact, we would like to go into the curve menu here, and under interpolation mode, uh, I'm going to choose linear. You can't see this. It's a little bit off screen for you. But under inter interpolation, I'm going to choose linear. And all of a sudden, we've got a straight line here. And our columns are evenly spaced out. We've actually now replicated the, these columns across the front here. In fact, if we look at this through the camera, we see bump, 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 a nice row of columns. We can actually start to do really interesting things, like, things with this. For example, I could define a much more complicated track for my column. And if I turn on dupla frames for this, all of a sudden, I've turned my colonnade into a box. This is pretty handy, right? Or I could add scaling keyframes as well. So as I replicate, it also changes the size of my uh, columns. I could play with rotation keyframes, or I could play with some combination of rotation and scaling. This becomes a very, very, very powerful tool.